Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Morning, morning, friends, and welcome to this Holy Eucharistic celebration. We offer this Mass for the special intentions for the departed soul of Rueli, and also a special intention of all those who are present here. Let us begin together in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, as we come to the end of the first week of Advent, let us continue to thank God for the, His wonderful and healing mercy and love for us. Let us also ask God to forgive us for those moments we went away from God's love. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who sent your only begotten Son into this world to free the human race from its ancient enslavement, bestow on those who devotedly await him the grace of your compassion from on high, that we may attain the prize of true freedom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, O people of Zion who dwell in Jerusalem, no more will you weep. He will be gracious to you when you cry out. As soon as he hears, he will answer you. The Lord will give you the bread you need and the water for which you thirst. No longer will your teacher hide himself, but with your own eyes you shall see your teacher while from behind a voice shall sound in your ears, this is the way, walk in it, when you would turn to the right or to the left. He will give rain for the seed that you sow in the ground, and the wheat that the soil produces will be rich and abundant. On that day your flock will be given pasture, and the lamb will graze in spacious meadows. The oxen and the asses that till the ground will eat silage toiled tossed to them, with shovel and pitchfork. Upon every high mountain and lofty hill there will be streams of running water. On the day of the great slaughter when the towers fall, the light of the moon will be like that of the sun, and the light of the sun will be seven times greater, like the light of seven days. On the day the Lord binds up the wounds of his people, he will heal the bruises left by his blows. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Blessed, blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Praise the Lord for he is good. Sing praise to our God for he is gracious. It is fitting to praise him. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem. He, the dispersed of Israel he gathers. Blessed, blessed are all who wait for the Lord. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He tells the number of the stars. He calls each by name. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. To, the, to his wisdom there is no limit. The Lord sustains the lowly, the wicked he casts to the ground. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. 
Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is our judge, our lawgiver, our king. He it is who will save us. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned like a sheep without a shepherd. But then he said to his disciples, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Then he summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. Jesus went out these, sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. that The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, we will continue reflecting upon God's mercy and love for us. The first of all, the provision of Prophet Isaiah gives us the favors of God, encourages everyone that he will come to protect and care they will uh, he will provide everything everything we really heard the lord will give you the bread uh, you need and the water for which you thirst and my dear friends that is our belief as we pray every day the our father give us this day our daily bread so let us continue to believe that god protects each one of us and I always told uh, and believed uh, that God cares for us individually, uniquely, and with great mercy and love. So the psalmist asking us to uh, give praise to the Lord of Psalm 147, uh, praise the Lord for his good, not only desiring for God's providence, but also praise him because he is good. And the second point is for our reflection is uh, coming from the uh, gospel and that is the need of the time. Uh, Father John always insisted on um, having vocations to the uh, religious life and consecrated life and also to spread uh, messengers, uh, to become messengers of the gospel. So Jesus, uh, actually Matthew chapter 9 and 10 today, where we read the passage, it is a kind of uh, evaluation of what Jesus did all through after his uh, ministry started. He healed the sick, he protected everyone, he gave comfort. Yes, he became a, a consoler for everybody who became troubled. Even you heard the multiplication of bread and he gave uh, physical nourishment to the people, not only spiritual nourishment, but here Jesus feeling compassion for anyone who is troubled. So that is why we heard at the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved, moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned. Sometimes, my dear friends, though we are great in faith, in prayer, and practicing our religiosity through our mass and novenas and other religious activities, but sometimes we feel abandoned because of the pain that we, we may face in our day. Let us continue to ask God to be with us and continue to seek for more vocations to the 
priesthood and religious life, therefore, they will consecrate themselves uh, to the uh, spreading of the kingdom of the Lord. Amen. Let us bring all our prayers uh, before the Lord. Trusting the power and care of our God, whose heart is moved with pity for us, we confidently bring our prayers to him. For the guidance of the Holy Spirit in the Church's witness and commitment to ending racism, let us pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, may God's power bind up the wounds of all people and bring peace, especially in lands tormented by violence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are grieving, may the tender compassion of our God carry them and strengthen them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here, may the gifts of the Holy Spirit empower us as we share with others the healing and hope found in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they rest in the light of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the repose of the soul of Ru Li and the consolation of their family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the petitions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we bring you these prayers filled with the hope we know in Christ Jesus. Hear and answer them, we pray, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of creation. Through your witness, we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of the human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of creation. Through your witness, we have received the wine we offer you. Through the wine and work of the human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With the humble spirit and contrite hearts, you accept it by God. Wash away my iniquities and cleanse me my sin. Pray, my dear friends, that our prayers and sacrifices may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise Christ and glory of his name. name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. As we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he assumed at his first coming the loneliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for the day 
may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with the angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and George, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Trusting in the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ, let us pray confidently the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the coming, the, the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power and the glory, glory are yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. My dear friends, let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. With the faith in love. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should under my roof, but the sin of the world my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. We, let us pray, we implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The mercy center, let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Let us pray one Hail Mary for the protection of our children and families. Hail, Hail Mary, full, full of grace, grace. The, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. 